Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert digital audio output to 3.5 millimeter input, which is your basic headphones cable. This is what 3.5 millimeter is. So I have a TV, on the back of my TV it's a digital audio output and I've been trying for years to plug this into a Bose sound system that only takes 3.5 millimeter input. And previously I found solutions that were like two, three hundred dollars, but I was actually in Best Buy last week and I found this converter right here. As you can see, it's an optical coax digital to analog converter and it was about thirty dollars. And I said, you know what, I think that's going to solve my problem. Now I did have to buy two other cables and you can see the boxes right here. They're all hooked up to the converter, which is in the back right right here. And I'll kind of explain how everything works. But basically I needed a digital optical audio cable and this cable just goes out from the back of my TV from my digital audio output jack into the converter. So it goes in right down here at the bottom right of the converter. If you take a look at the box it would go in right here where it says optical in. Okay so I had to buy that cable separate. Each of these cables were about eight dollars. So this is in total it's about a fifty dollar solution give or take. You might be able to get it a little bit cheaper on Amazon. But the problem is is the converter for my output it came with just a regular stereo cable. So that's the red and white cables uh, both coming out of the converter and into whatever device I wanted to plug it to. So I could plug this into a normal stereo, but that doesn't work for 3.5 millimeter. And that's why I had to buy this other cable. And as you can see it right now, I have it plugged in to the converter. That's the red and white cables in the back coming out of the converter. And I have it going into my Bose stereo system just as a 3.5 millimeter jack, just like this. Now you can see that the other cable that we have on the converter is this one right here coming out the top. This is just the power cable. So the converter does need to be charged. I do want to mention that if you look at websites like Amazon, you might be able to find cables that are digital audio output into 3.5 millimeter without a converter, but those cables aren't going to work. I'm not sure why they're selling them. In order to convert digital audio output to 3.5 millimeter, you need to convert the audio from digital to analog, and that's what this converter does. So, uh, you know, I thought this was going to work. After I got everything plugged in, I tested it out, and voila, I have TV sound coming out of my Bose sound system. So again, your optical coax digital analog converter, and you also need a stereo audio cable to 3.5 millimeter to come out of the converter into whatever you're trying to plug it into. And because the converter didn't come with a digital optical audio cable, I had to buy that as well. But these three products combined are a very cost affordable way to get digital audio output converted into analog and plugged into a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.